in and welcome back to a new video. I am here, home alone, chilling with Teddy. Teddy's right next to me, looking out the window. We just came back from a walk, so sorry if I look a little sweaty, but it's, I wanted to come on here and I haven't done this kind of video in a very, very long time. Um, I feel like the last time I did this was back I think when COVID first started or even before then but I was gonna do like a whole like um kind of video talking about stress and how to manage it but then I'm like you know what I haven't done like a mental health recovery update in a very very long time and I thought you know what let's do one because and I have this in here just to have better audio quality I hope that it's a little better uh, let me know but uh yeah, so this is just going to be like an open diary of sorts on how my mental health has been doing over the last year. I mean, I don't think, I really don't think that I have had a mental health recovery video in a while. So I'm just going to say this is how my mental health has been over the last year. We're just going to do that. Um, and I might incorporate some stress related stuff in there. I might incorporate some burnout too, which that's been a thing for me um and just overall where my head's been at and what I'm doing with my mental health because that was a huge topic for my channel when I started this channel um was well when I started it I was kind of like the beauty guru <laughs> and then it slowly turned into some mental health related topics so um I wanted to start off by saying that by no means am I a mental health professional uh, disclaimer here that I'm not a professional so if you feel like that you have some sort of mental health disorder please consult a doctor about it and get properly diagnosed for those of you that are new here on my channel I am diagnosed with depression anxiety PTSD autism spectrum disorder and some OCD and I say some actually I do have OCD <laughs> let's, let's be real I do have OCD um, and I, yeah, and OCD in the media is totally not how it is in real life. So I will, I should do a whole video about OCD and how it's like not portrayed well by the media and like the media makes it seem like, oh, people with OCD are just super organized. Yeah, I'm super organized for a reason because in my brain I need to constantly be organized or else I will go insane. <laughs> like I remember Again, this is like an open discussion too. So just have this on the background while you're cleaning your room or have this on the background while you're doing work or something. This is just gonna be me kind of just talking for about 20 minutes. So hang in for the ride. Um, but long story short, I remember I used to, when I used to live in this room, well, basically, if you guys haven't been here for my whole channel journey, I lived in here for high school moved upstairs when I started college back when I was 17, 18, then moved back down here and I have been in here ever since. So it didn't work out being on the third floor at the time because I took advantage of it. I was video chatting with people nonstop. I was all of that. And you can watch all of my other mental health recovery videos here on my channel. I kind of go into that a little bit, but over the last year has been crazy. But to go back to my point, I'm, I feel like I'm all over the place, but to go back to my point of the whole organizational thing, I used to be that person that would have laundry all over the floor that would have, you know, clutter everywhere. And even just looking at my clothing rack of how my clothes are really gives me anxiety. So I might clean up my room, do like a little clean, clean sweep when I'm done with this video. But anywho, um, and I'm one of those people, all of my friends know this, that I'm the typical person to switch up my bedroom all the time and um but thankfully now I have a full size bed so it's not as easily you know I have a small size room so there what you see is only part of it and then in front of me is another section like a little section where I have my tv my dresser etc but it's like an l-shaped room pretty much but anywho um I used to be that kind of person that would be messy and all of that and I realized that definitely correlated with my mental health and especially over the last little bit. So uh, last year in May of 2020, I actually, you know, felt very 
I had this like big energy I was looking back on my snapchat I had a very big like fuck everyone else like disclaimer I'm gonna be swearing in this video because it's like an open diary um fuck everyone else it's only about me in my life it's all about girl boss like self-love and all of that and I feel like I went about it the wrong way I feel like because this was the time period when I had broken up with Jake um who is on my channel still because it wasn't like a yes it was a toxic relationship but also like I had a lot of memories through it like that's when I got my tattoo and that and like he helped me kind of grow out of my shell a little bit when it came to my YouTube channel so that's why I decided to keep the videos up by no means do I have any respect for him because I really don't <laughs> he doesn't have any respect for me but don't go at him this is not like a hate video or anything like I've only talked to him once since the breakup and that was because I got something in the mail from him and I freaked out because I was like why did I get this but we sorted it all out so please do not contact him in any way just let him live his life his single life and yeah and the awkward part is that he still is uh I don't know like I'm f I used to be friends with this girl which I feel like she's been on my channel before too or on my podcasts before and stuff and her and I don't talk anymore because I really wanted to stop connections with him. So that was a big part of my mental health was moving on from a relationship into being single, which hmm, your girl wasn't single for that long to be honest and that's okay. And that's and they didn't I wasn't planning on like literally I remember when I had broke up with Jake that I literally just wanted to stay single the whole summer, focus on me and literally stay single for the rest of the year. Honestly, that was my plan. But what ended up happening, <laughs> this turned into like a love update, but it's definitely part of my mental health because uh, the relationships like that I, I'm in, like friendships, family, like all sorts of relationships definitely correlate with your mental health. So that's why I'm mentioning this. So I guess we're going over the relationships of my life first. Um, yeah, so that was really, it wasn't really, it was a hard breakup, but it also wasn't. Like, it felt natural to me to just do it and I felt okay afterwards. But then there was also a part of me that was that hopeless romantic, like, oh my god, I'm never gonna find anyone else again. Like, that was it. And I screwed up my chance and then... I just felt as if I should only love myself and that's why I had that attitude all over my snapchat all over my social medias etc but then it turned into in June I started talking to somebody who is now my boyfriend Patrick <laughs> um and that really changed like it wasn't like I was looking for anybody I had just so happened I was like you know what I'm gonna go through my old snapchat and see some people I used to talk to be super close with and reconnect with them and yes Patrick and I did not leave on a good note the last time that we had talked to each other we did talk briefly like a long time ago I remember but it wasn't anything that was <laughs> like it wasn't the right timing for us to meet and I feel like this time was the right time for us to meet because I found his username, added him. I added a couple other people too for my old Snapchat. A couple of them didn't answer. A couple people did and one of them being Patrick. And our story of our relationship is very, like, I would write a book about our relationship. I know this turned into like a whole love thing, but um, it is part of my mental health because he has been such an advocate for me. He has been my supporter, my you know my best friend like my my ride or die like I don't I don't know how to explain it like Patrick makes me so happy and he motivates me to keep going like he constantly tells me I am so proud of you Erin I am so proud of you babe like look at all the work that you've done and it reminds me to kind of you know realize how much I have accomplished and I didn't want to cry in this video <laughs> but I feel a little teary-eyed um but yeah he has been like my number one best friends like if I ever need somebody to talk to he's there 
and he and we love each other very very much I've never been in such a happy relationship before so I'm very very happy to be with him and it may not seem like it because I'm crying <laughs> but I am very I guess I'm just very blessed I'm very happy to be with somebody because I never thought that I would find somebody that I could call you know somebody I would be with forever and I used to say that about guys in the past and everything but honestly like I could say with my whole heart that I will be with Patrick till the day I die like I don't see myself with anyone else he's the person I'm meant to be with yeah we ha are going through some bumps in the road of not seeing each other as often because we are in technically a long distance relationship he's only two hours away but with COVID it's been hard um but yeah I just I am so grateful for him and he always says to me like I'm so grateful for you to come into my life like you made my life so much better but honestly he's done the same for me but times a hundred like he's just the best and I wanted to mention him first because he has been such a big supporter in my life besides my therapist besides my parents besides my family like he was just that extra boosted boost the extra boost that I needed that's what I was trying to say um to keep going in life and just to not give up and I I just am so happy that he's in my life so that's been a big help in my mental health now for you watch or watching this listening to this whatever even just having like a best friend to go to that you can just vent to and I have made so many more friends now like I just feel like me meeting Patrick was like the first step into me like actually getting my shit together in life because now I feel like okay I have my soulmate I have my partner like it's not like a check off the to-do list thing it's more of like I did that like I found my soulmate like and now I feel on top of the world that nothing else bothers me like even if I do lose a friend okay it probably wasn't meant to be I just feel so much more clear-headed and I don't want this to be a bragging video either. I just want you all to learn from my experience that you may feel alone, you may feel like that, you know, no one's going to be by your side if like your parents aren't that supportive or if you don't have any friends that are that supportive. Just know that I'm here. My socials are down below and you can DM me. I don't mind. Hello, Teddy. Um, and yeah, so just know that you have me if you have nobody else. I'm open to for DMs and everything and I can definitely get back to you because I'm not like a million subscriber YouTuber like I yes have a life but I will definitely message you back if you message me so always know that I am a sh shoulder to cry on somebody to vent to and somebody that knows now how to not let it affect my own energy like you know those people that are like oh you can vent to me but then you feel like that you're putting too much pressure on them like I'll tell you if you're putting too much on your put to, putting too much of your energy into mine and I'll be honest with you about it because honesty is key so enough about relationships aspects in my life I mean yes I have gained some new friends I've actually socialized with people and I feel so much more rejuvenated from that but at the same time I just wish COVID wasn't a thing anymore like COVID has changed my life for the better I will say that However, I do want to hang out with friends. I do want to go out more places and not have like a curfew at places. I honestly want to go dancing again. Like I love going to, you know, not those like trashy dance club things, but I love to dance in general and just listen to music or go to a concert or something. I miss that <laughs> and I can't wait until the world open back opens back up again with concerts and everything because I miss that <laughs> but anywho enough about relationships in terms of my career um part of my life in terms of an update I opened up my Etsy shop during COVID it was amazing um I have even had you know how do I explain this like I've had you know like I wasn't like, I've been mainly focused on school throughout COVID. Like, I started uh, school back in the fall semester um, this past fall. I aced my class. I aced this class for spring semester. And now I'm taking the summer off. I was going to be taking a summer class. 
but I just didn't have the money to like put into the class because I really 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 wanted to go on this weekend trip with Patrick which this weekend I'm going on a little weekend getaway which will be so much fun honestly I need a vacation he needs a vacation and we're just so excited about it but anywho getting outside has been really helpful too that's like another side note like nature has been so grounding for me like even though today I tried to go for a walk and then with the dogs and then it started raining and even though it's sunny out and it's like what the hell nature but and now that the the ground's all wet I'm like well can't go out with my blanket but at least I can open up the windows at least I can like go on my porch even if like it's too wet outside and just enjoy the sun enjoy the fresh air and read my book or something nature has been so helpful <sighs> I miss the warmer weather, so I'm so glad we're getting into the summer months. But anywho, so in terms of career now, I, like I said, have my Star Sketch open and a uh, shop open on my Etsy, which if you want to check it out, link in my bio, excuse me, don't mind this, this is from my sister's cat. So, yeah, um, <laughs> I feel like I say that in all my videos that I show it because I don't want people to think otherwise. Um, what else? Yeah, and I have a new part-time job, too. Your girl is, like, grinding. I have, like, you know, right now I'm not focused on school. So right now I do my star sketch work. I do a mar part-time marketing job as well on my computer, which I actually have a window open right now of some of my work that I have to get done. It's not, like, a scheduled job. I just have to get five hours of work done a week at least. So... It's, I love it. It's so self-paced and I can't wait to kind of like, you know, um, whatchamacallit, just like, just grow with the business. Like, I'm so excited for it. And all the girl, everyone on the team is just so nice. And it's like the dream job that I have always wanted. And I get paid every week. Like, I got my first paycheck last week, which was like so nice. And like, for two days of work, like, thank you, but like, not needed, but thank you. Um, and overall life has been pretty good, but I will mention that there has been some bumps in the road in terms of my mental health. I have been severely working on some inner child trauma therapy. I won't mention much about it, but I had a dream two nights ago, actually, ironically, that really kind of got my mind turning I guess or just like got me into like a whoa why did I dream about that kind of a thing and it was about like being exposed and being like taken advantage of I'll say without saying anything and it was just like why why did I dream about that like why like I, I know people that are close to me know about my dream so but like, why did I have to dream that then? Like, I haven't thought about this particular person in forever. And like, for some reason, I have this dream about something happening that never actually happened. But it's through somebody I know. And it's like, very confusing. So I've been trying to work on that of just like deciphering my dreams. And then last night I had a dream about my so like a softball team that I was on before and how I needed to find my ID or something and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was crying and like freaking out that my dad would be mad at me or something. So I've been working on journaling about my dreams just to kind of decipher what the hell is going on up there that's making me think all of this. Like I, it's crazy like the last couple nights of dreams I feel like this week I'm gonna have like a series of dreams of just like weird thoughts or things that have occurred in my life like that didn't occur in my life though like yes I did play softball and yes I did get my ID card but how does that correlate together that's what I don't get um I've also been really you know diving into my spirituality more by doing some shadow work um I started doing that last week um and that's been really, really helpful, honestly, of just like diving into my shadow self. If you don't know anything about that, highly recommend this blog post, which I'll link down below, all about shadow work. And it explains it so well. Um, and But basically, I'm just kind of working on my inner demons. And I did post a TikTok recently. So if you want to check out my TikTok, link, link below, excuse me. 
but pretty much I posted a TikTok recently about mental health and I love this song called To My Younger Self by Britain and uh, I love the sound of her. I love the message behind that song and highly recommend you go listen to it. Honestly, that has put so much peace into my life just to know that I'm not alone in that fact and that 2012 was the worst year of my life. Um, and that song goes into that. I don't know why 2012, but it is weird because now it's 2021 and the two and the one are switched and I feel like I'm having the best year ever. And yeah, even though I have been through, I will say it hasn't been like the most pristine year yet because I have gone through some deaths in my family, more or less dog deaths. So that's been really hard and it hit my mental health a little bit, but that's, I guess, natural to feel that way. So it wasn't like, I w it was un an, un uh, an unnatural feeling for me to feel grief about a death of a dog. Um, there were actually two dog deaths recently, um, which were really hard. Um, and I'm trying to think of if there was anything else I wanted to mention, but honestly, everything that I say in my videos before this, like the self-care and coping skills thing, I still use on a daily basis. I have them on my wall and I look at them and now I'm making like a things to do for fall and summer canvases. So this wall is just gonna be like a wall of inspo for me to like if I ever feel a certain way or if I ever need something I go to this wall <laughs> like it's the best wall ever I definitely recommend that having a wall with like lists of things either on canvases or paper or anything of just like coping skills you want to learn and self-care things that you want to do and things you want to do in a certain season like <laughs> Yeah, I'll have a link down below to that video where I talk about the coping skills and self-care thing that I did. But other than that, my mental health has been pretty good. I did have, I will mention at the end here because we are coming up to 22 minutes, that um, I did have a really bad anxiety attack um, this year, which was kind of an eye-opener because it was more situational than anything. But I feel like it happened for a reason and I feel like it happened because I just felt overall, you know, really traumatized by the situation that happened. I'm not going to go too much into it because it is very personal. But I will say this, that if you do go through an anxiety attack recently, put self-care first, put your work down, put like, you know, all of that down and put yourself first. That's the most important thing that I learned from that time. And I remember I took like the week off or something just to like focus on me or the weekend off, I should say. Um, I thought I saw Teddy, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and in terms of burnout, I did say that I wanted to mention that I have been feelings of that, been feeling that recently, especially starting this job, this new job that I talked about, the part-time job and having the Etsy shop and doing tons of work for that. And honestly, Yes, I have experienced periods of burnout, but I feel like that that's supposed to happen in a way. But also I feel like that I know how to deal with it now because I go to my wall, <laughs> I guess. I keep saying about this wall, but this is the wall. I still have to put up the summer and fall canvases, but I just go to that wall to help me. Um, or, you know, sometimes I'll just meditate. Sometimes I'll just take a breather. I feel like I just ruined the... There we go. Um, and yeah, why is it so shaky? Um, yeah. Or I'll go to my sensory box. My sensory box has been so helpful. I recently did a video all about my sensory box. So if you want to check that out, go do that because it's super helpful, especially if you have autism. Um, and also just like, you know, taking time off my phone has been really helpful too. I feel like taking time off your phone is a great way to center back in with yourself, not feel as, you know, I feel like if I'm on technology for too, too long, I just feel like scatterbrained. So I make sure every day to take at least two hours off of social media, two hours off of technology to just read or do art or something, like just to get off of technology. And that has been super helpful with my mental health, especially with everything going on in the world. So 
yeah um those are my little mental health updates i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you enjoyed having this in the background of whatever you were doing for the last 25 minutes but um, I will be posting two new videos next week. One will be mental, uh, mental health related. Actually, no, I'm posting three videos next week. Holy crap. Um, yeah, a lot of content next week because I have a mental health video going up, a plan with me video going up, and my Cape Cod uh, trip with my boyfriend going up as well. Uh, it'll be a vlog style. So we got a mental health video, a plan with me, and a vlog. Be ready for that all that content next week i'm going to be on my grind for youtube which is another thing on my career like that i've been enjoying youtube um and tiktok and instagram and other things <laughs> but go check out my link tree if you want to check out all my social medias and i'm so excited for all three of those videos to go up next week i know it sounds like a lot but i'm honestly excited for all three of them so It'll be a lot of editing for Patrick, so thanks babe for editing it, but it's, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next couple of videos next week. I won't be posting anything um, up, and then first video will be on Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday. So, um, actually no, it would be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, sorry, or Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know yet, I, I feel like I'm all scatterbrained now from being on my phone too much recording. I love you guys so much and let me know any mental health updates you would like to tell me in the comments and if you ever need someone to talk to just let me know. little promo here before we get off of here. If you would like to purchase my shirts or apparel go to my Etsy shop. I have merch that you guys can wear you know. Um, it's super comfy, super light. I'm sweating in it though from walking before and there's some like rain spots on it but is fine. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in the next couple of them next week. Bye guys.